This video topic, Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds' full biography. Let's start with the good news. Ryan Reynolds shows, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, YouTube trending on 2. Watching this show. Visit. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon YouTube channel, starting Ryan Reynolds' full biography. Ryan Reynolds, Canadian actor known for being charismatic, quirky, and a quick-witted smart aleck. Ryan Reynolds, early years and career, Reynolds' father was a food wholesaler and his mother a retail salesperson. He grew up the youngest of four brothers in an Irish Catholic family in Vancouver. He began acting at age 13 after attending an open casting call and landing a lead role in Nickelodeon's teen soap opera Hillside. After returning to Vancouver, he appeared in several TV movies and played a recurring role in the CBC fantasy series The Odyssey before graduating from Kitsilano Secondary School in 1994. Reynolds subsequently started his own improv group, Yellow Snow. He also appeared in TV series such as Lonesome Dove, The Outlaw Years, The Outer Limits, and The X-Files while working nights as a grocery store clerk to make ends meet. In hopes of finding more reliable and steady work, he dropped out of Kwantlen Polytechnic University after only a few months and moved with a friend to Los Angeles when he was 19. Ryan Reynolds' Hollywood Career After moving to Hollywood, Reynolds played a few supporting roles in TV series and movies. He was offered the role of Xander in Joss Whedon's series Buffy the Vampire Slayer but turned it down because he did not want to play a teenager anymore. Instead he landed the role of medical school student Berg in the ABC sitcom Two Guys, A Girl and a Pizza Place. The series helped Reynolds develop his gifts for mimicry and imbecilic bumbling, qualities that were also showcased in his lead role in National Lampoon's Van Wilder. The Screwball College comedy became a cult hit. That role brought Reynolds' work in a variety of genres. He starred in the Canadian heist flick Foolproof which was a box office disappointment, and voiced the sidekick of Leslie Nielsen's bumbling prime fighter in the Teletoon animated comedy series Zero Man. He made the jump to big-budget Hollywood fare with a supporting role opposite Michael Douglas and Albert Brooks in the comedy The In-Laws and co-starred with Wesley Snipes in the action movie Blade, Trinity, for which he trained for three months and gained £25. His status as a Hollywood star firmly established. Reynolds starred or costarred in the comedies Waiting, Just Friends, Adventureland, and The Change Up, the romantic comedies Definitely, Maybe with Rachel Weisz and the proposal opposite Sandra Bullock, the action movies Smoke and Aces, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Green Lantern, R.I.P.D., Selfless, and Deadpool. The latter film was a blockbuster hit, and Reynolds subsequently starred in and wrote the sequel, Deadpool 2. Reynolds also appeared in the action comedies The Hitman's Bodyguard and The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. His thrillers included Buried, in which he played an American contractor entombed in a coffin in Iraq, Safe House, about a CIA agent trying to protect a criminal, and Six Underground, a Netflix film about a billionaire who recruits a team to overthrow a dictator. In 2021 he starred in the sci-fi comedy Free Guy playing a bank teller who learns he is a character in a video game. Reynolds also lent his voice to the family films The Crudes and its sequel, Turbo, and Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Exhibiting his skill for self-mockery, he played himself in an episode of Seth MacFarlane's series Family Guy and made memorable cameo appearances in MacFarlane's feature comedies Ted and A Million Ways to Die in the West. Reynolds's more serious movies were among his least successful. The dramas The Nines, Fireflies in the Garden, and Chaos Theory were all poorly received both critically and commercially, while Adam Egoyan's Thriller The Captive, in which Reynolds stars as the father of a kidnapped girl, was booed by audiences and panned by critics upon its debut at the Cannes Film Festival. Somewhat better received was Woman in Gold, in which he played a lawyer helping a Jewish woman recover a painting stolen by Nazis during World War II. In 2012 Reynolds and screenwriter Alan Loeb founded Dark Fire, a production company based at 20th Century Fox TV, which specializes in developing comedy series for television, charity and advocacy work. 
A committed environmentalist and activist, Reynolds was involved over the years with a number of charities. In 2008 he ran the New York City Marathon to raise money for the Michael J. Fox Foundation and in honor of his father, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease around 1994. Reynolds also served on the Foundation's Board of Directors. Reynolds executive produced and narrated the eco-conscious Canadian documentary The Whale. He also worked with the environmental organization Natural Resources Defense Group to advocate for renewable energy and to bring attention to the effects of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. In addition, he helped raise funds for relief efforts following the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Reynolds supported Vancouver's Covenant House, which provides shelter to runaways and the homeless, and Hope North, a high school in Uganda that educates former child soldiers. He frequently visited children's hospitals, and in 2007 he traveled to Malawi with the friends of Molanje Orphans. Ryan Reynolds' Personal Life Reynolds was engaged to singer-songwriter Alanis Morissette from June 2004 to February 2007, when they called off their engagement. Shortly thereafter, Reynolds began dating actor Scarlett Johansson, whom he married on September 27, 2008. They divorced in 2011. That year he and his Green Lantern co-star Blake Lively began dating, and they were married on September 9, 2012. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and more updates subscribe this channel. Comment